Hi ladies, how are you? This is really close up, <laughs> really close up today. Well, I survived the UTI. Praise God for that. It was really, really something. Um, I, I don't ever want to go through that again. Uh, it, was, it was really an up and down ride for two weeks. And I made a lot of mistakes that I'm learning from. Well, first of all, uh, stop drinking coffee if you're drinking coffee. Don't wait several days before stopping drinking ca caffeine because it doesn't help. Uh, once I stopped drinking the caffeine, I started to feel better. And so then I allowed myself to eat some chili and some things that I don't normally eat, but my body wasn't ready for it. So by the next day, I had a terrible reaction. I was terribly sick again and actually was terribly sick, period. Uh, by Monday, it had cleared itself out and I felt that I was over it. So on Monday, guess what? I decided to drink coffee again, but my body wasn't ready yet. And so it took me into a tailspin because by then I had been doing the grapefruit seed extract antibiotics, but I just couldn't stomach it anymore. And I just really took a dive. I ended up in the ER. Uh, And that is just because I was so exhausted and overwhelmed. I just, I, I just completely, everything that I know that I'm supposed to do just kind of went out the window. I never made myself medicinal tea. That was the dumbest mistake that I could have made. And it was a crazy, it was a crazy routine that I would go through. After I got out of the ER, of course they hydrated me and they get, helped me with the prescription for some antibiotics that I, I was just like, I'm, I didn't really want to take, but I needed to take it because I I, it was now a very serious um, infection and I didn't want it to go into any of my organs or anything like that. So I took the antibiotics for several days, but as soon as my husband started making me the medicinal tea, the, the, horrible, the horrible afternoon pattern stopped. And the horrible afternoon pattern was this, my hands and my feet would become like ice and I would begin to shiver. I even, the last day that it happened, I took a little video clip of it. <laughs> if anybody wants to see me suffering. It's 2.30 in the afternoon and I get one of these shiver spells. My, my hands are like ice and my feet and and I, oh, I got a headache. And I did this in the hospital. I had done it for two days before going to the ER. I did it in the hospital and I did it the day following after I was out of the hospital. But then I, like I said, by that day, I finally realized, hey, maybe you should make me some Dr. Morris's Heal All Tea. And, um, and then things started clearing up. So the pattern that would happen is that I, I would have these horrible shivers. It lasted for hours and hours and hours. And I would, at home, I have a very, very thick quilt or a comforter and I would climb underneath there and just try to get warm. I really wanted to get into a hot tub, but I couldn't because I had the UTI. Uh, so I just had to wait, wait it out. And then the fever would come and then after the fever would come the sweats. And this would be into the night. And I mean, uh, the, the last time I had it, which was Friday night, maybe Thursday night. Anyway, I went through every pair of pajamas that I own. I, I was sweating and my bed was just, I was just soaked, soaked. But as soon as I started taking the tea, I quit having those symptoms and that was great. But the one thing that I am uh, thrilled about is that my immune system is working for me. And for years, I, I, can't, I can't even tell you the last time I had a fever. I was probably in my 20s maybe, 20s or 30s. I don't know, I just, I, I didn't get fevers anymore. And I can remember when I started detoxing, when I did fruitarian, but which actually the diet was, it, it, 
I, I mean, they would say the the deeper the detox, the the or the then you would want to go more fruit or just a mono fruit, which means just eat one fruit. Like so, I ate watermelon all the time because I was trying to really get in there and and uh, detox everything out. But on the but when you were spo supposed to be done detoxing, the diet was exactly, was the McDougal diet. You were allowed to have sweet baked sweet potatoes. You were allowed to have all the vegetables and fruit that you wanted. And actually I've heard, I had heard Dr. Morris say, when you walk into the produce section of the grocery store, that's where you go shopping. You can have, have anything that's in there. So I could have been eating potatoes that whole entire time but I didn't know, I didn't understand the whole, the whole deal. I was working on it, but I could never get myself to have a fever. And Dr. Morris would always say, uh, go get yourself sick, go get yourself, have a fever and you'll detox and you'll really get your lymphatic system cleaned out and it'll be really good. I never had that. So to think that now, seven years later, uh, I was able to finally have a fever and to sweat, I mean, sweat. I literally woke up and I had beads of sweat on me and I just never, I've just never sweat. So now it's a totally new thing because now I'm sweating a little bit, I'm perspiring and I can just feel it and I'm like, ooh, I'm cold because I feel the persper perspiration where I, I just didn't have that before. So this was a very, um, even though it was a horrible experience going to the ER and being sick and everything, there was there's a lot of good beneficial things that came out of it for my health. So I'm really grateful for that. I'm hoping it's gonna help me out a lot. I but I don't wish what I went through for anybody. It was really awful. Drink your herbal teas every day. Keep your kidneys filtering for sure. Well, as you can imagine, I didn't have much of an appetite and I lost quite a bit of weight um, because I just wasn't, I wasn't hungry. So I, I, today is weigh-in day and I have a really good report and it's, but it was mostly because I was sick, but we'll see where I, where I go from here. My total weight loss for the last seven days was seven, oh, excuse me, <laughs> not seven. My total weight loss for the last seven days was 4.2 pounds. And over the last month, I've lost 6.2 pounds. And my overall loss for 2022 is 29.8 pounds. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. Right now, uh, this morning, I was shocked because... Uh, there were days when I, because they were just pumping me full of, of sodium water and all that, I, I mean, I knew that it was sodium, so my weight was like up to 154 one day, and I knew that once, and I wasn't walking, and so I just knew that once I'd start moving and the sodium would start coming off, the weight would be coming back down, and I was just absolutely shocked to see not only the 148s, but the 146. And the not. And this morning, I, I didn't know if it was just gonna be plateaued from yesterday, because it was already a couple pounds down. I was just shocked to see 144.2 pounds. 144 pounds. I haven't weighed that in, I don't know, years decade more more than a decade it's been a long time <laughs> it's been a long time I can't figure it out it's not where I want to be I was still wanted to see the 120s at some point in time I'm still six weeks away from being on the chef AJ live show if she remembers I'm, I'm pretty sure she will it's it's going I, I while I was sick while I was sick I started eating just super simple and I like it, so I've just continued, maybe eaten some more of it. Um, but I've been eating some chopped, chopped potatoes that are cooked in the, in the pressure cooker. And then I steam some broccoli with it and add a little tamari for flavoring and some corn. I add corn to it. So that's the main thing I've been eating, grazing on throughout the day. 
And then I also have been having a smoothie, which technically on the McDougal program or the Chef AJ program, while we're losing, we're not supposed to be drinking smoothies, but I'm like, I'm still losing. So if it's not a problem, I just keep using it. I'm just, I'm using three cups of mangoes, frozen mangoes, and I add a tablespoon of maple syrup, another thing that Chef AJ doesn't allow, but Dr. McDougal allows a little bit for flavoring. And then I add as much water as I want so that I can drink it. And I love it. It's so good. You should try it, especially now because it's really getting warm. But uh, that's about it. I, I'm still, well, I am walking. I am walking again, at least one walk. I, I'll see you this evening if I can take another walk. And I'm just, uh, I'm well, thank God. I went to, and had an ultrasound yesterday and everything is all clear. There's no damage, there's no infection. Everything is good. I just need to continue to work on building up my strength. So that's the update on me. And I hope that you're doing well. Let me know how you're doing in the comments. Let me know if you're losing and if you are struggling or whatever it is, just let me know how you're doing. And, but I hope you're doing well and I, that you're getting ready for summer, okay? All right, you all take, take care. God bless you. Hi ladies, my name is Lori and I will never diet again. I'm a conservative Christian a wife, mother, grandmother, pastor's wife, and my family and I have lived in Mexico since 2004. I'm so glad you've come to join me today. subscribe, please.